George, have you slid into anybody's DMs today? I have not. No? It's working. No, we got some feedback from our last podcast. Yeah. Right? <laughs> they did. They were asking about my shirt. No, they were saying they love your shirt. So yeah. Technically, they slid into the DMs to you. I didn't realize that commenting on something is sliding into the DMs. Absolutely. Would you agree, Paul? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome to another Magic City podcast. For those of you guys tuning in on YouTube, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe so Paul can tell you. That the algorithm gods will be very, very, very happy. Yeah. Not just happy. Very, very happy. Oh, very, very, very happy. Very, very happy. happy. And if you're listening to us on any one of the 210 streaming sites, mm, 210. Uh, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Audible, iHeartRadio, just to name a couple. <clears throat> Make sure to uh, subscribe as we drop new podcasts every Monday and Thursday. Right. And then we are... Paul, Magic City Comics. George, Marvel Poppy. Jimmy, J. Mark Collectibles. So... A lot of stuff has gotten announced today. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, it, it was, was a big, Spider-Man's wet dream. There was a big con yeah. that I never heard about. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> yeah, no, big uh, big announcements today uh, during CinemaCon. For people that don't know, CinemaCon is uh, basically a professional convention for people in the biz just to highlight everything that's coming out over the next couple of years. In and the, the movie all biz. The, You said the biz. They don't know what business. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Our YouTube crowd will see me looking at the camera. Explain to people. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Go. You got a degree in business in cinema. Go. Explain it. It's a <laughs> explain it. It's it's a con for movies. It's a con. Yeah, it's a con for for movies, for the film business, the film industry. Don't look at me with that face. That we just put, a, there's just a con for business. It's for a convention. Okay. Yes. They are, uh, Can di- anybody attend? Different studios will, will announce. I'm actually not sure if it's open to the public. Uh, somebody would know. So that's all I'm saying. Well, I've never been there. So do you know, Jimmy? No, I don't. I exactly. never pretended to know. No, I'm just explaining to people since you like to be. So, here, let's explain to the you, crowd. You see how much fun know. this is, guys? We have a Amazing. blast. Amazing. It's like Jimmy we can just screw up and no so one So Spider-Man. A lot of Spider-Man news. And the big one, um, they delayed the Miles Morales movie, um, which was going to be called Into the Spider Verse Part One and Two. They changed it to Beyond, to Across and Beyond. Right. So, and then um, talk a little bit about it. Well, they said that. Uh, I mean, the, the the interesting thing that I noted was that over two hundred and forty characters mm-hmm. are going to be included in these movies. So, As opposed to the 40 that were included in the first one. Right. So who the hell are we going to see? Who are we not going to see? That is true. I mean, you're going to see a lot of more pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure they count the pedestrians, but we'll probably <laughs> see them pedestrian size from far away. Man, I mean, 240 characters, that's like everybody in Spider-Man. Well, yeah. it's funny. You made a good point that who knows if one of the... Because they did mention it's going to go across six different universes. Right. Mm-hmm. If one of those is live action. Could be. Cause what do we see? We saw we saw what three or four, right? In into the Spider Verse, into the Spider Verse, we saw one, and people just came from multiple universes in, right? And then we had the whole portal looking into another one, right? So, I, that'd be cool if they if one of the uh, universes was like a live action Spider Man universe. Yeah, and then you just see Morbius. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, so yeah, so they they are coming out next year. It ha- it also is taunting as being the largest crew on an animated film ever. Yeah, it's I think one of you said the number one thousand people are, are are working on that movie. So over one thousand people are working on a movie. That's a lot of people. Sounds like a lot of people. That's that is a that's lot a of big people. budget movie too. That's, that's a thousand paychecks for God knows how long. Oh yeah. Well, what I, I, what I was reading was that you know the the animation is so intense and so. Like groundbreaking that mm-hmm. you need so many people doing, you know, the, I guess, whatever they do to animate nowadays. Yeah, I'm sure it's the the animation, the backgrounds, right. everything. That's a thousand people, man. Yeah, like the That's, a big, crew. That's the... a big crew. Not going to lie. When Into the Spider-Verse came out, the animation was groundbreaking. Because it, oh, no, it, it was a new different style. And it's funny. You sort of like, if you look at it 
for a moment you get lost in it and then you disregard the rest of it because some things were out of focus some things were blurry like all by design well if the more times you watch it the more you notice yeah Mm -hmm. you watch it a second time and you pick up little cues in the animation and you watch it a third time and then you see something else and you're oh wow like they they really focus on the details on the animation side there it's funny because like we always have this conversation like what do you think is one of the best spider-man movies i always put that one up there so yeah. far, yeah. It's, it's, it's up there on, on top. It's really good. Because it's just a story in and of itself. Right. And everything like that. What would you say is your top Spider-Man movie? Oh, it's got to be that one. That's a, tough, that's, a, that's a tough one between that one, Spider-Man 2, the to- Toby. Toby, Doc Ock. Toby, Doc Ock. Oof. See, I liked Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. No, I... Eh. More than Toby. I liked, I liked the way he acted as Spider-Man. Like the, the his personality with right. Peter's, but like the movies themselves, like the first two Raimi ones are f- far better than. Did ah. Raimi do the third one also? Yeah, yeah, but that was bad. Oh, yeah, and he he knew it was bad. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know for some reason I, I I I gravitated more towards Andrew Garfield's portrayal of especially Peter Parker. I like the Peter Parker Spider Man aspect of of Andrew Garfield. I just didn't like the rest of the movie. They're not. They're not very well. That's made. just like Tom Holland. He, I think he does a good Peter Parker and Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Just the whole teenage persona, you know, the smart kid, the nerdy smart kid. He's less. Smart-ass. He's less like like teen angst, like like Andrew Garfield was. Right, right, right. I think, and that's what I thought Garfield like was able to portray, like that angst, you know, that growing up teenager, you know. I don't know. To me, to me, like I, I, I like those movies better. I like him as Spider Man over Toby and over. Tom Holland. I like yeah. happy go lucky high schooler Tom Holland. As, Toby was as just Spider-Man, too goofy, just man. So He's just too dorky and like we just I don't know. He just eh. well, we don't really get him as a high schooler either. You only get him in high school for the first like fifteen minutes because no one, did, none of them look like they're high school age. And, I, and you know what? You know what aspect about Amazing Spider Man I liked was the Gwen Stacy aspect. Yes, I oh yeah, totally. I did not care for Christian Mary Jane. Yeah, yeah Christian Stewart, Christian Dunst, Christian Dunst. Her her portrayal of Mary Jane. I I feel you. Mary Jane was supposed to be hot. I'm just saying. Baskin Robbins has 31 flavors. Yeah, I'm just saying. A little something for everybody. <laughs> That's funny. So you say that, but everyone will always remember that upside down Spider Man kiss with her soaking wet in the rain. Oh yeah, yeah. So guys, if you haven't seen Into the Spider Verse, uh, for some people that don't watch the animation stuff, watch it. Great story. You won't regret it. Right. Mm-hmm. Give it a watch for sure. Um. With that, we also have, uh, they also showcased 15 minutes of uh, of the movie, and they showed Spidey 2099 and Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that, that seemed interesting. Yeah, especially fighting the Vulture. Right. So were they fighting Michael Keaton, or who they were fighting? They didn't say. Yeah. Or at least what I it, read, they didn't say. Yeah, it'll probably be a different look. Yeah, it'll vulture. be like an animated, an animated yeah. Vulture. Yeah, but it was uh, Miguel O'Hara and... Yeah, Jessica, Jessica Drew. Drew yeah. Jessica Drew. So I'm wondering what other like comic book Spider Man people we're gonna see then. If you see Jessica Drew, will they have will they have Jennifer Carpenter? Spider Man India? Well, they did show in the first like teaser trailer that he was apparently going through India because there was a billboard right. uh written in yeah. that language. I mean with two hundred and forty characters. Yeah, if so if they're not pedestrians, then I mean you're gonna get all sorts of obscure Spider Mans. Mm-hmm. I hope we see uh, Spider Man Noir again with yeah, uh, Nick, cool. Nick Cage. Yeah, he was cool. And Spider Ham. Yeah. Spider Ham was the best. With John Mulaney. Spider Ham, I think, was like that, you know, the, 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 the secondary character that to me was freaking awesome. Yeah. And then it's funny leading into that Spider Woman, they also um, showed like 10 seconds of Madam Web. Yes. Mm-hmm. So obviously that movie's in full production. Dakota Johnson, Sydney Sweeney. That if people don't know her, she's on Euphoria, and apparently she's naked like every other episode. Already. Yeah. So just a little tidbit there. Just there you go. Watch Euphoria. <laughs> I've had people that watch Euphoria. They're like, no, it makes me want to kill myself. Yeah. Like, no, why watch? Yeah, it? I see the trailers. I'm like, I don't want. I don't want to see a bunch of depressed high schoolers. Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> so. The Sony verse is in full effect because, in addition to that, they also show Craven mm-hmm. with Aaron Taylor Johnson, and it makes me wonder: What does it make Ven- you do? What does it make you mean? Is Venom gonna be a better movie or a worse movie than these <laughs> when everything's said and done? Because the Venom movies were pretty bad. 
I mean, Morbius wasn't an Oscar contender either, so... Yeah, no, just thinking, like, all the Spider-Man rogues, like, obviously Morbius just came out a couple months ago, but... Damn. That's Sony just throwing shit on the wall to see what sticks. It's going to be an awesome character that they're going to butcher. Yes. Oh, for sure. And it's going to be an awesome storyline that they're probably going to butcher. Mm-hmm. So I know we've talked about this in like our favorite stories and all that, but if they would have done a Tom Holland movie with Craven, The Last Hunt, that would have been, I Insane. think. That yeah, The Last Hunt would have been awesome. Guys, if you haven't read it, it's a great story. Great, great story. Okay, so then going into another pile of garbage, Venom 3. <laughs> <laughs> you have a steamer. Venom 3. Wow. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. I think I think you said it right that it might be Tom Hardy's exit out of the character. It might be an exit out of Tom Hardy. Yeah, I wrote well, that, that. That that would also be the the time to do it. They usually do like three movies or not, right? Yeah, because the Venom character in and of itself jumps from person to person and jumps from universe to universe. Apparently, yeah, yeah, and it goes back home because you're gonna go. We're gonna get a Venom character in the MCU because yeah, the little piece of the symbiote got left behind. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, this could be just a farewell to Tom Hardy. It could be. Yeah. That That's a character they can easily make a legacy character, only because it's a symbiote that hops from person right. to person. Yeah, like it's Venom, not Eddie Brock. Right. right. So, and, um, yeah, I mean, just some of the main storylines that we think that it might be. We have no idea. But Agent Venom, you know, Flash Thompson. That'd be sick. Yeah. That'd be cool to see. Yeah. I'd like to see that on screen. You want to talk about Agent Venom for people that don't know? So, he was, uh, what was his name, uh? Flash, Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson. You said that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is he? Uh, he's a war veteran, right? He's a war veteran. Missing his yeah. legs. Yeah. He lost his legs, and uh, and then he gets uh, the the symbiote takes over him, mm-hmm. and then he becomes like a full blown soldier, yeah. kind of symbiote soldier, and he's got like the the military ensemble and the military gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He uses like actual weapons, firearms. Yeah, yeah. Like he has like a rocket launcher on one side, yeah, yeah, like yeah. in his uh, costume. He looks kind of Punisherish. He does yeah. look kind of Punisher. Punisher War Machine. War Machine. Yeah. Yeah, because I think in, in that one, they're like controlling the symbiote. Right. So like, they don't, like, he, he can only use a, they time it. So that the symbiote like, doesn't go crazy and kind of control, like, oh, you can only use him for like an hour or something. Right. And then, yeah, they, shut, like and the, then they shut him down. For whatever missions they need him for, and <clears> then that's it. Then he's back on the wheelchair. Yeah. So, like, if, if they shut off the symbiote, then he loses his legs. Right. Because the symbiote's making the legs for Flash. Yeah. And then, um,. So we go from that to potentially an anti-Venom storyline. That'd be cool too. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about anti-Venom, how that storyline started? Well, um, anti-Venom comes about when um, I think at, th- at that point, Flash is already uh, Age, Age of Venom, Age of Venom yeah. During, yeah. during that time. And Eddie Brock is... Uh, he's sick, right? He's sick. He's, he has cancer. He's dying of cancer. And um, I think, he, if I'm not mistaken, this is... He meets Mr. Negative, but before everyone knew he was a supervillain. Like when he's yeah. setting up the um, that um, that house for for the homeless and and the food and the the food center, whatever mm-hmm. the the one they use in the Spider Man game. And uh, I believe while he's talking to him, the um, I forgot Mr. Negative, Mr. Negative's actual name, <clears throat> his regular persona name. But he's talking to Brock, and he he puts his hands on him, and I guess while he's talking to him, he cures the cancer. Okay, and that that. That power when he uses his power, I guess um, there were still like some 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 leftover of the symbiote right. inside of of Eddie's cells, and that that counteracts with the power that makes like that anti venom. It it turns him into that, that the, white you know, the white thing with with the black insignia that like can and then what what his power is. He kind of has the same shape shifting as the symbiote, but he kills he kills the symbiote he like the, symbiote, the antibodies yeah. that are that are in that in that new suit that he has kills. Um, the symbiote, yeah. kill symbiote. So after that, yeah, he, he runs around. They kind of make him. They kind of make Eddie Brock like a. I believe he gets like really religious while he's dying. So yeah, he gets like yes. this, this. His whole thing is like this religious war against symbiotes, mm-hmm. and he's going around killing any like all the people with symbiotes. Yeah, which not the that, people themselves, like the the symbiotes. That's yeah. when you find out how many symbiotes there are. Yeah, right. that's so. when you see all the ones that are running around. So okay, and then. We have Thor, the God Butcher, coming out. You know, is this a basically an avenue to bring out Null? Could be. I mean, the King of the Symbiotes. Could be. So I wouldn't pat. I wouldn't put it past Tony to just introduce Null like that and just have him in the movie turn this entire like 
years long story arc in, in the Venom books into like an hour and a half movie and just throw it in there. Yeah, it's like a huge buildup of this king of the symbiotes, and then Noel comes out at the end. They do the big fight scene. Eddie dies. Yeah. Symbiote <laughs> becomes another Venom. Noel dies, or does he? And then end credits. Yeah. Yeah. Did the movie that, that wouldn't surprise me either. And then Christian Bale just pops in. Like, yeah. <laughs> Paul's like, you don't have to help him talk too much. Forget about the fluff. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I just told, I just did the movie right there. No fluff. And I didn't have to pay you twenty two dollars. So watch it. Um. All right. Bad Bunny movie. Because I'm not gonna. That I mean, was the is nothing. Everybody's gonna go see it because of Bad Bunny. <laughs> that was like a huge out of nowhere announcement. Yeah, it was. Sony an- announces some no name character for Bad Bunny. El Muerto. Oh, well, he is an actual comic book character. Yeah, he's right. a ca- but he's like an he's like a, a obscure Spider Man character that, like that Peter David wrote into a into like one of the issues. Yeah, in friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Yeah. You know, and I did think about this. Do you think El Muerto and Super Pro are going to go at it? That would be epic. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm surprised that El Muerto is getting a movie before Super Pro. That's true. Because <laughs> Spidey was in Super Pro issue one, so he technically was. Super the Pro. Cover. He was Super Pro is a Spider Man character. <laughs> Listen, man. I, yeah, it's 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 an obscure character, but I think, and, and and it's Bad Bunny. You know, he's just getting into acting. You know, he's doing that Brad Pitt movie, Bullet Train. Mm-hmm. He did a couple of episodes on Narcos. He did season. Narcos, right? I think they got the right guy to play the character. He's a huge wrestling fan. He's been involved in some wrestling events recently. He's been he in wrestling in matches last year, right? Was it WrestleMania, WrestleMania or was it or a Royal Rumble or Royal something? Royal Rumble, yeah. Those, yeah. He was involved in some big pay-per-view. And he was on it. You know, he, I think he came on the Monday Night Raw yeah. and all that. So, I mean, he's 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 a student of the wrestling game. You know, he knows it. He's grown up with it. He's a fan. So, I think he'll do it justice. Yeah. Like, he'll pour himself into the character. He'll probably, you know, go and get jacked for it. I mean, he'll, he'll look the part and he'll play the part. I will yeah. say this. He will put in the work and due diligence because... Yeah. Wrestlers are very fickle. They don't like when celebrities come, come into their into their world, right. and none of them had anything bad to say about them. The right. dude trained with them right. and like wrestled for real. So I, I think the fact that he got that he got the respect from wrestlers shows you how much work he puts into that stuff. Yeah, and it's also a recent trend of wrestling being what it is and growing that much more. I mean, you have the star show Heel right. with uh, Steve Amell, right. which was also another big wrestling fan. That's he a, also that's a came really out. Drama, yeah. He he also came out in a couple of wrestling events. Yeah, he was in the crowd, like, and then he got yeah. heckled, and then he got he got like involved with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I like I'm excited to see it just because I think he'll he'll play the character and he'll do it justice. At least not maybe the character per se for the comics, but the wrestling portion, the wrestling aspect of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I at this point, you don't have any expectations. It's a no-name character. It's done out of the Sony. blue. Yeah, done by Sony. So even if it's bad, you're not going to let anybody down. No one knows who the hell this guy is. Exactly. So we didn't know who the hell this guy was till earlier today. <laughs> we to Does somebody want to explain what, <laughs> what he is? So he comes from a, a long line of Mexican luchadors where the the mask gives you increased strength, agility, power. Yeah, the, the mask has some kind of power, yeah. And then it's passed on generationally from like father to son. And, and they yeah, they earn it by by wrestling El El, el Dorado. El Dorado, yeah. yeah el Dorado. So yeah. they have to fight they have to fight for the mask. So it's uh yeah, I mean, it's like you said. I think you said it perfectly. There are no expectations, so if it's good, you'll be like, "Wow!" And if it sucks, you're gonna be like, "Yeah, we expected that." And if so, people are telling you to buy his fifth appearance, then don't don't start spending fifty hundred dollars on this guy. Settle down. No, you're gonna go spend five hundred on it. Did he just copy what I was gonna say? Right no, now? You, I pulled. Is it that up, what you, you pulled know? up? I'm sorry, but oh, I, didn't I don't know. Pull that I up. saw you looking at the screen. Don't pretend. I wasn't looking at the screen. I'm looking here. People on YouTube fact check him. What is he? Fact what's it going for? What are they going to see? It, guys, I was about to say, don't <laughs> buy it. It's Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, number six, his first appearance from 2006. So the book is, what, 15, 16 years old? Yeah. yeah. It's already right now at 152.50 with 15 bits. Any CGC 98s out there? No, no CGC How many are on the census? There will be a lot. Yeah, there after will this. be after this week. Uh, it's like six, seven months from now. <laughs> guys, trust us. If you're a fan... Of Spider Man, and you want the issue, just wait. Yeah. Or if El Muerto is your super pro, then go for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you never paid $150 for a super pro. Oh, super no, hell no. no. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, but I saw it before, though. You yeah. know what it is? That, <laughs> that was just announced today, and everyone's going crazy buying that. 
They're gonna they're gonna retire on guys. Um, listen to our full podcast. If they announce El Muerto, Super Pro is freaking. It's, he's bro. in line, bro. He's gonna he's gonna come out. Man. Those are twenty people that think they're gonna retire <laughs> with with that first appearance of El Muerto. <laughs> guys, <laughs> FOMO is box. real. <laughs> listen to our podcast where we did it. Don't buy into the FOMO. You'll be fine. Just wait. Yeah. yeah. Like, or just go find a dollar bin somewhere, a dollar box, because they're probably selling there. Yeah, exactly. There's no reason whatsoever to spend $152 on that. But if you want to spend it, let us know. <laughs> yeah, we'll find one. Don't worry. <laughs> Call us. <laughs> slide into our DMs. Yeah. yeah. We'll tell you what shirts we're wearing. <laughs> Jimmy loves it when you slide into the DMs. I do. Slide yeah. it with whatever you but got. You're sliding in, so not so much. <laughs> I, I don't slide into anything of yours. Yeah, and we're going to keep it that way. Okay. I would hope so. So you want me to walk out of me like kids need privacy. No, I mean, I'll, I'll step out. You're the way. first one in there. What are you talking about? <laughs> so done with the Spidey news, which was a lot. Mm-hmm. So um, now just the other little tidbits that they announced. They announced uh, a Ghostbuster Afterlife movie, so it will be the fifth entry into the Ghostbuster franchise. Right. Mm-hmm. So is it going to have the same kids and Paul Rudd and all that? Did we get any information like the that? The only just, uh, thing they said was they're going to do a new Ghostbusters. That's mm-hmm. it. So. It'd be interesting. They could go with those kids. They can go with a new iteration of Ghostbusters. The movie, the, the little stinger at the end is them opening up. Um, Who's the, that? Uh, um, or oh, in the movie, you mean? Like in, in the movie. It's oh. uh, Spoiler alert. Yeah, at, at the end of the movie, they, they reopen the, the firehouse. Who's them? I don't want, in case they haven't watched the movie. Just it's say the it, people the it's, Hey, it's been, oh, once it's over a couple of months, that's it. Spoiler alert, they're done. Who's them? Because <laughs> I haven't seen it and I could care. I haven't either. No, it's uh oh my god, I I forgot Ernie Hudson's character. Um Winston? Winston. Winston and um Yeah, cuz he owns he's like a in the and in, in, in that movie like you know, after they stopped doing ghost busting, he dude opens up his own business and he's like a So why do they open back up the original firehouse? Yeah, he buys he like, buys the original firehouse and they reopen it, and it looks like they're going to reopen the 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 Ghostbusters business. Okay. Okay. So it would be, you know, it would be cool to move forward away from nostalgia and just create like a like a new movie for people. I'm for moving away from nostalgia. Yeah. You love nostalgia. Oh yeah, it's my favorite. I think that that was the main thing with with Afterlife was to show you that it already happened. Yeah. And then and then it kind of opened the door for new characters. Because right. that was nostalgia. It was the villain from the first movie. That yes, was, it's the villain yeah. from the first movie. Yeah. yeah, that was Olivia Wilde. Oh, I seen it. Yeah, they kept her a secret after mm-hmm. that. All right, so then um, also they did say Batgirl is going to get a theatrical release, so they're going to increase the budget. For oh, they're, they're they're thinking about it. Maybe they're now with the, with the acquisition of uh, of Warner's and with how well um, the Batman did, they're now thinking about. Guys, you heard it here first. It's going to get a theatrical release. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able to check this podcast in a couple of months Jesus. and see what happens. Sounds like someone else. Yeah, and it's then, official. <laughs> confirmed exactly <laughs> confirmed <laughs> and then uh 10 minutes prior to recording this podcast they officially announced the batman sequel with robert pattinson yep they sure did there you go so we knew that was gonna happen oh yeah that was just one of those that the movie was so good right that it would, yeah it was and it's left open-ended on purpose to be able to do more right yeah no just, no i mean as even then they could they could have left it closed and you know it's they do it in a way that they can make three movies and not have them be like one, you know, one ends, the next one begins. Like, yeah, the it's next fucking Batman. Like, I mean, yeah. yeah. Like the next one could take place a, a few years later. Or beyond. Or, yeah, sure. Terry McGinnis. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you looking at? <laughs> He's looking at all our viewers on YouTube. <laughs> That's cool. So, I mean, yeah, it was, it was, unex- I mean, it was unexpected, but expected. We're going to get yeah. another Batman. Right. They, you know, no details yet, as of yet, of, you know, cast characters, who's coming back, who's coming new. Who would you like to see as a villain? The Court of Owls. Who would you like to see? That's going to be the villain. Oh, I mean, the way the universe and the movie tone. Well, it's going to be the like Court that. of Owls yeah. with the talent. I will yeah, say, the talent. the way the movie's built, that would be, like, an excellent choice for, for, for the next villain. You can do Hush, but I, because of that Easter egg tease, they might not do it. It's too on the nose. But I'm asking you, what villain do you want to see? No, I, I would like to see Hush if he's playing, like, if he's playing, you know, with Bruce. I mean, like, he knows him, and, and it kind of works that way. But 
I don't know if that'll work if if the movie takes place just like a year or two after. You know, it'd be. A, I would like to see a villain that hasn't been done yet. I want to see probably one of the most underutilized characters that they could go anywhere with, Clayface. That'd that be, would cool. be cool too. You know you who could, I don't want to see? You could really fuck with Batman at that point. I don't want to see the Joker. I, I agree. I think they'll just keep him. We, if we see him, he'll still be in Arkham. I hope. I hope. Yeah. That'll be cool. Because I think their intention is to not not do a movie with him again since you've had him. You've had so many. And they've been good Jokers. Yeah. But if we don't. Yeah, every Joker was good except Jared Leto. Jared Leto was. I don't count that one. That was you got to count it. He's a it's Joker. It's Suicide Squad. It's, yeah. Joker. <laughs> He's the only one that had a Harley Quinn, you know? That's true, so. but still, he's awful. But uh, yeah, no, I, 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 it'd be cool if they keep him in Arkham. But you know, you know, he's there, but he has nothing to really do with it. Yeah. Or but they I have don't him break, or they have him break out, but you don't see him. Right. You know, like that'd be cool to not to not have him in there. Again. I don't want to see him as like the main villain. Yeah. Yeah. I Agreed. Want to see Clayface. I would love to see um, Hugo Strange. Yeah. That would be cool so. if, if you see him like like running Arkham and the shit he's doing. Or yeah. Calendar Man. <laughs> Calendar Man. Remember, we saw Calendar Man in, in the Suicide Squad. We True, did. yeah. <laughs> I did. I'm trying to think, Batman has such a big rogues gallery. Like, who else could we see? You could have interesting, weird stuff. You could have a creepy Mad Hatter. Quilt Man. Mad Hatter would be a great one. That would be a creepy one because he, like, you know. He, with mind control. With the mind that. control. Come on, man. Force- freaking, who? The Lego movie has had all those fucking cool characters, the villains. Yeah. <laughs> Condiment Man. Condiment, Condiment King. Condiment, Condiment King. King. Condiment King. <laughs> Don't buy his first appearance. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it would be cool if they if they introduce in, into like live action like um, villains that they haven't used yet. Yeah. That would be cool. It'd be fine. You want to name drop. You see some little Easter eggs in Arkham. But as like a main villain, it'd be cool if they use some that haven't been, that haven't been used yet. It'd be interesting. I mean, it's not his rogue. But it'd be interesting to see a Luther go up toe to toe with a Bruce Wayne that'd be cool because then you have the whole like you know yeah at least in the same at least in the same yeah like I guess universe or same country you know city yeah, state well, whatever you, it you is had them talk to each other you you had in the, in the yeah. Snyder they're in both titans universe. of industry you hey. know? so well let us know what villain would you guys like to see in the Batman movie what do you guys think of CinemaCon? It's going on for a couple of days, so we're going to be in tune to all the announcements and let you guys know to so just get a quick recap. Yeah, if anything major happens and uh, or if anything else gets announced, then we'll be back on here. Yeah, I don't even know talking if... Talking about it. If Warner Brothers is done presenting. Because that, that Batman was like right before we recorded. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I guess yeah. today was, today was the, the, the big so Sony So yesterday day. was Sony, today's Warner Brothers. Yeah, right. today's Warner Brothers, and earlier they were showing, you know... Um, they were talking about upcoming movies, the movies that we know about. You know, right. Aquaman, about Black yeah, Adam, Adam, Shazam. Black Adam and Shazam come out this year. Aquaman and Flash next year. Yeah, that right. was all that was on display for Warner Brothers. Right. They had yeah. the movie posters. Um, yeah, I'm sure they announced other like, they're gonna, know, horror movies. They're going to do Avatar 2. They announced that's on the docket probably mm-hmm. for tomorrow. That's going to be for like 2036. Finally. We're finally yeah. getting Avatar 2. Like James Cameron has been working on this movie for like... Over 10 years. Because well, he's been working on two through five, I believe, right? Yeah. And, now and it's brand new technology. Yeah. What's funny is those comments from me, he's like, I don't know if it'll be received well. It's been so long. Hey. Right. Yeah, that generation's already old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we'll be seeing it because we yeah. were, I mean, what? When did Avatar come out? 15 years ago? I don't know. I was like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. 15 years ago. I it mean, it had to be that long. It, it, it took like five years to build the, the one in the park. All right. We're in our early twenties, so yeah, yeah, it would be for us. We would see two, three, four, or five. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you'd have to commit. That shit better look great, because listen, I sat, through, I sat through Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna watch Avatar. <laughs> I might, you know, because they guess. they did what I did like is that they're gonna explore different parts of Pandora. They did say that one's gonna be like more predominantly in space. One might focus more on underwater one, stuff. One so well, James Cameron's huge in the underwater. Yeah, thing, exactly. So, yeah. so I think. Uh, Visually, it's going to be a good movie yeah. to watch. One, one is definitely underwater, and that's the one that took the longest. Dude, yeah. is that dude? Is that dude in it? Yeah. The, what's his and name? So is Sam Zoe, Worthington. So is Zoe Zaldana. Was Sam, Sam Worthington right? Yeah. No. Yeah. I haven't seen him in anything. Since dude, yeah. that's what I was saying. Like he hasn't been in any movie for the last since Avatar. No, I, since Terminator. He, he's been in some stuff. He's that's just what not, he's been uh, working yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, we got you tied up for the next twenty years, bro. Sorry. But that paycheck must be worth it. Oh, it must be. And it's funny, Zoe Saldana is now part of two of the highest grossing uh, movie franchises ever. True. 
But she's in three. Big What's ones. the third one? She's in Star Trek also. That's not highest grossing though. No, no, but it, but it made she made it she made a big bang from that. Yeah, I know, but it's not highest grossing. So what you're saying is that she'll be in the con circuit for freaking the longest time. Basically, once <laughs> she wants to get done, uh, tra- get done uh, doing movies, she could just go to cons. If she ever goes broke and needs the money, she'll always have a table at a Girl, con. She'll be able to start her own production <laughs> company. <though. laughs> for real. And she was in The Losers also. Another yeah. comic book movie. That's a cool movie. Yeah. Yeah. Very underrated. That's a cool DC movie. So... All right, well, guys, let us know what you want to see in CinemaCon, what was announced, what Batman villain you want. Um, Let us know how shitty you think Venom 3 is going to be, because really is nothing else to talk about. What other book is it going to ruin? So (laughs) we'll see you then. Until next time, guys, we're out. See you. My God, what's that good? If they do know, like, what's it going to do the prices of those books? Oh, God, it tanks. They're spiking again. Yeah, but what happens when the movie comes out and they all start to die? Well, yeah, if Noel comes out, he has to die. Yeah. You heard it here first. <laughs>